nerdy. Think I'm just too white and nerdy. Can't you see I'm white and nerdy? Look at me, I'm white and nerdy. Want... Hey, people. Frosty Knives here. And today, we are joined by a special guest. Someone that you guys have not seen on my channel. Let me introduce you to my wife. Say hi to the people. Hi. Wifey me internet. Internet means wifey. And you would like me to call you? Crusha. Crusha. She does have a YouTube channel. Crusha and Frosty. Actually, my web channel, my YouTube channel is called Crush and Frost. So, we... I did a video earlier today about our video game systems, and I lied to you. Well, I jumped the gun, and I said that we didn't have any of the newer systems. Well, we just got back from GameStop, and we made a haul. Yeah, we had a nice little shopping trip. That was fun. Expensive little shopping trip. But it was worth it. So here we are, and we're going to show you guys what we got, and we're going to do an unboxing of some, some things, not everything. So what are we going to look at first? Well, first, we'll get to the big piece last. First, let's go with the find that we didn't know was coming out, and neither did our friend Gannon, who happens to be the manager of the uh, GameStop out here. Um, he did not know that this existed and was coming out. This is a special edition Halloween 2013 eyebrow. It's a giant pumpkin eyebrow, and one of the things that it's hard to see, that you may not be able to see unless I tilt it just right, is that his pelvis and his body is actually a black skeleton and on the bottom he has a skull head on his base and he's pretty cool he's got the bat wings he's got a cool one-eyed pumpkin head because he is a one-eyed character and uh, I thought he was awesome Halloween as you can probably see my favorite holiday so I was really psyched to pick this one up um, and I'm never going to take him out of the package. I'm going to put him on the portal as is so that I don't end up ruining his packaging. Yeah, I didn't know that that was coming out. Yeah. And I'm really curious. For those of you not in the know, that's a Skylander. And uh, I'm really curious to find out if he looks like that in the game. Because normally he's supposed to have a giant eye. That's the picture of what yeah. eyebrow generally looks like. And he does have the bat wings, but he's just a giant eyeball. Um, we do play this, and we do collect them. We have everything from the first game. We have everything now, I believe, from the second game, yep. except for a few exclusives that were missing, most of the exclusives we have. And uh, so this was a really special one, and I'm going to have to go online later and find out if they made any others, because if they made special Halloween ones, I want them. I want them all. Yeah, they, they got a really good... They got a really good gig going with this thing because it's a video game and it's toys. And if you want to play the video game, you got to buy the toys. So they know kids are going to go, Mommy, let's buy all the toys. And of course, if you get the, if you're into collecting achievements or trophies, there is one for having, especially in the first game, for playing with all 32 characters. Yeah, that would be neat. Achievement whore. And we were lucky enough with the first game to get all 32, so we were able to pop that achievement. Yeah, they put, um, so they, so all of the giants come out as one, one line, and then what they do is they go back and they make a special giant for each one, and, um, usually this will start at level five instead of level one, and it usually comes with 2,500 coins, so they give you a little perk for buying the special guys. The special edition ones also come with an increased level cap, which yeah. is another perk. So this this is that was I nobody knew the guy at GameStop didn't know this was coming out. He's no, like, they I actually don't know. got a shipment today because the the other thing that we'll show you came out today. So they actually got a shipment of things that released today, and this was one of them. And and he did not even know on his shipping manifest what a P U M eyebrow was until he opened the box. Maybe he thought it was plumpy. <laughs> plumpy. But so that's the that's the Skylander, but that's not the big haul. Now, you'll know in the video I did earlier, I showed you my Zelda 3DS. Well, guess what came out today that we can unbox for you? Da -da -da -da. Do a drum roll. Ba -ba -ba -bum. Bam! Legend of Zelda Wii U Bundle. Isn't that pretty? Now, this comes with a download for Wind Waker HD, and it does have... 
Zelda themed pad, control pad, with the Hyrule emblem on it. It also comes with a free digital copy of Hyrule Historia, which as you probably remember from one of Frosty's earlier videos, I bought him for his birthday in hardcover. So now I have it. We have it in, in hardcover, which, is, which was probably wicked expensive, because that, that hardcover book is, I've seen it in other stores, and, it, it, and now we've got it as a digital download. So that means I don't ever have to read the book. I can preserve the book, and if I want to read the digital download, I can read that instead of, you know, crinkling the book. And Side note, what Frosty doesn't know, Books A Million, great website for, for ordering books online that are nowhere near what they cost in Amazon. Yeah, because that book was close to $100. It's like 80, 80 bucks in hardcover. So. And let's just say that I bought him for his birthday the Hyrule Historia, a Toy Vault book, and a Transformers book that was co-written by Peter Cullen and a Legends of Zelda complete anime manga series. So, uh, needless to say, I did not spend what you would imagine on all of those books. Samba! You remember those old commercials? Remember those old 80s commercials where the guy would walk around the little, the little castle going, Zelda! And, and we never knew what the hell the game was about? Yeah, now we do. We love it. Now we can open it. All right. It's a 32 gig black Wii U, mm -hmm. and it comes with the digital download for the book, and it also comes with the game, Wind Waker, remastered in high def, and that is also a digital download. So the game is not in here, but we'll download it from the network when we hook it all up. Let's open it. I feel like it's Christmas, and it's like, you know, almost October, oh, now, and wait still a minute. 82 Before we do degrees that, in now. Of games in Zelda, let's talk about another thing that came out that had to do with Zelda. The, the original Wii U came in two different types. It came in a regular bundle, um, which was pretty bare bones, and it came with a premium bundle. And the premium bundle had a copy of a game called Nintendo Land, basically a theme park simulator that has mini games based on many different Nintendo franchises. And I happened to get pick up a copy of this today um, it doesn't come with the Zelda uh, bundle, but I do have to say two things about that. One, they did a price drop today, and even unbeknownst to the, unbeknownst to the manager of the store, the price drop included the Wii U. So if you're going to get it somewhere else and you're expecting to pay the higher price and they're charging you the higher price, you better look somewhere else because it's a Nintendo official price drop. Everyone should be using it if they're not they're they're not following Nintendo protocol. Yeah. Two, Nintendo Land, which was originally, according to the shelf, a fifty nine dollar game if you bought it separately, is and you can see this, it was still marked on the shelf as fifty nine dollars, is down to thirteen dollars and forty nine cents for pro members, which of course we would be why wouldn't you be a pro, pro member? Pro member. <laughs> Why wouldn't you be a pro member if you play as much as we do? But on the other hand, they also price dropped this 50% today. So I bought this because our daughter wanted to play it and we wanted to try it too. And so today it was $6.47, which is a heck of a deal. It has an Animal Crossing game, has Luigi's Mansion, Ghost Mansion game, Mario Chase, Legend of Zelda Battle Quest, Peak and Adventures, Metroid Blast. Yoshi's Fruit Cart, Takamaru's Ninja Castle, Octopus Dance, Captain Falcon's Twi Twister Race, Balloon Trip Breeze, and Donkey Kong's Crash Course. So as you can see, this is just an amalgamation of almost everything Nintendo. Yeah. Absolutely essential. Now, they're just trying to get rid of a glut of old launch titles. And that's okay. I really don't It's care. like what they did with Connect Adventures. And yeah. it's like what they did with um, Nintendo, that... that what it was that Wii Sports that came with the crappy launch title that came with the Wii? Yes. Yeah. But whether or not these games are any good, you're talking about games that include your favorite characters, not games that are just junk based on the and use even of a special though, peripheral. 
It got shitty reviews. It horrible reviews. I'm still thinking about getting Zombie U. But that's another story. A zombie game. I don't know. So yeah, 300 bucks for this. They price dropped the Wii U. And that does include the Zelda bundle. So if you find a place that has it, pick it up. If it has it for more than $300, you're getting ripped off. You're getting ripped off. Because they aren't supposed to... Sell them at a higher price than the price drop. It's shiny and black price. and gold. And yep. This is probably going to get messy. But that's okay. Oh, we're dropping all the all the software. So, you know, it comes with all of the prerequisite, you know. Here, look at Here's the instruction manuals. Here's how to configure your system. Don't play this if you've got epilepsy. Eh, you'll wig out. So this half we're going to ignore because this is just sensor bar. This is the dock for the... For the actual pad and the course. No, this is. We do not need. The this is the bundle that you want to open. Okay. Here is the shiny new console. Oh. I love how they always like you know. Ooh, put it someone, is shiny. You know, That's it. a piano black shine right there. I'm gonna try to make sure I don't get any fingerprints on this. And this is the first time we've opened this, folks. Sometimes we op I open things and put them back in the box just to pretend. No. No. We just got this. This literally walked in the door. Yep. This is very nice. Wow, that is a shiny system. All right. It's hard to tell which end is up on this. Well, no, not really. It's because it's the front. So here is our shiny new Wii U. And it really is shiny and brand new. So... And smart, you don't have to open a stupid little door anymore. They put the sync button right on the outside. It's very nice. And there are your USB ports and your SD card port. And we are good. And this is the coup de grassy. Cool. This is what people wanted to see. There is your Wii U controller with the black and gold Zelda crest, Hyrule crest, the Hyrulean symbols and all that good stuff. Oh, you know, I hate to be a naysayer, but you know what they could have done? It's okay to be a naysayer. We can be naysayers. They could have at least made the home button. Instead of looking like a house, they could have at least put a Triforce on that button. That's a good point. See the house? Could have been a Triforce. That yeah. is a good point. It's a, we're always critical here on YouTube. But, uh, you know, it, it fits interesting. Supposedly, you can play the games on the tablet for a little while without the console on. It's interesting. But does it does it actually come with a Wiimote, or is this it? I believe that's it. Or is there another? That is the actual remote. This is the, this is, so we don't get a Wiimote. We get, no. We get this. If you hang on to this, I can look. And that is, here. you know what, though? That's cool. Let me find out. Look, it's got a little TV button. There's a, if you look here, so here's your, uh, well, it's going to be backwards for you guys, but this is your left thumbstick, here's your right thumbstick, here's your uh, directional pad, here's your buttons, here's your select and start, your home button, there's a TV button, uh, you can see there's a TV button right there, which means you can probably turn your TV on with this thing, um, there's a power button, and then on the back it's got your two um, left and right bumpers and then underneath that left and right triggers so you can play and actually it, for the size that it is it's it's pretty ergonomic I like it and apparently this is the deluxe set not the basic set because according to this the basic set comes with everything that we've showed you except that it doesn't have the console stands to be able to stand it up sideways if you'd like to, and the gamepad cradle and stand, which ours does come with. And this is an HD system. It does Finally. come with an HD. It comes not only with an HDMI port, but with an HDMI cable. Yep. Unlike so many other things that do not come with a cable. That's okay. We come equipped. We've got thousands of HDMI cables. Oh, of course. We're, we're good like that. Just like I have tons of component cables and other things because I love to. But this also, and you can, and just like everything else that you can enjoy, you can put Netflix, you can put 
what else does it say here? Hulu, Netflix, internet browser. You can watch my channel on YouTube, on your Wii U. Go do that, subscribe. Um, so, yeah. I like, I even like how on the, on the Wii U, if you look closely on that, that's actually a map of Wind Waker. That's from the game. That's, that's the Wind Waker lands. Those are the seas and the islands. I like how they put that on there. That's pretty neat. We were not planning on buying this today. Tell you what happened. We were not planning on buying this today. Went into a local GameStop and uh, saw it on the shelf. And it didn't say coming soon. It said now two ninety nine. dollars So our daughter actually asked the uh, fellow that worked there if he had any. And lo and behold, he, they, they received four. And they had four, and they had three pre-sales, three pre-orders, and one to sell to the general public. We got lucky. And they knew they would be getting more, so they're, they're very, very kind to us. They said that um, because nothing had been picked up, that they would consider getting one from somewhere else and selling us one anyway. So that... To answer your question, yes, you do pair Wii Boat controllers with it if you like, and you can also transfer your data from your Wii, including your download games, downloaded games to your Wii U. I so, think the Wii's just become obsolete in this house. I believe it has, except for the fact that Julia can just use it as a Just Dance machine. Yeah, we'll probably do that. Um, I will show you two other things that came in the packet. As we talked about, I will not show you the backs because obviously those contain pin numbers that are what are single use. Right. Um, so this is our Hyrule Historia free digital download. That's that came in the package. This is our Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD full game download. These would actually kind of make cool, um, especially the top part of that, would make a really cool uh, decoration, I think, hanging on the wall or something, mm -hmm. or put them in a frame. And the nice Maybe thing is, so we already have Wind Waker for the cube. I got the Wind Waker. We already have the Wind Waker game. We, we've already played it. So to have it as a digital download, that's... Um, I don't know about you, but I really bought it for... I think it, I liked it for the system. The game is fluff. You know, it's extra. It's bonus. But to have a system with the little... To, to match the other Zelda consoles and things that we have. Well, we happened to realize today, and this was part of my... Because he, he didn't really want to drop the money at first. And we happen to be discussing the fact that in 16 years, almost, that we've been together, um, we have not yet passed up a Zelda Special Edition anything. This is true. I had forgotten about that. And I am not about to. We are both big Zelda fans. Um, not something I want to let go, and as I mentioned tonight... Um, this just isn't something you pass up because you really aren't going to see it again. Look at my wallet. It's a Zelda wallet. Mm -hmm. That's his second one, too. I bought You're him another jelly. one. I know you are. I bought him a different one at one point, and that one got so, completely destroyed. But that's no, what we got. We, we got some peripherals. Up. We got some screen protectors. And extra screen protectors, extra styli, styli, styluses, yeah. styli. Got a couple of extra little. They always talk you into buying, you know, extra swag for your systems. Well, the extra swag. Tried to get you to buy the, the the warranty. You know, do you want a warranty on an? We have not had a Nintendo product fail since 1985. Our NES still works. Yes, it does, and I've repaired it a couple of times. So, so it does work. Warranty on Nintendo products. My original PlayStation, I think it's a waste of time. Post, unfortunately. So yeah, they tried to get us on the warranty, but you know, if it said Sony or Microsoft, maybe been through four Xboxes, yeah. But Nintendo's pretty good. One thing we did invest in because it is important to protect the pad, especially because it's not something we want to have to replace because it is a special edition. Yeah, I imagine this would shatter if we dropped it. Is the cover? It's very important when it's not used to keep the screen part and the working parts buttons covered. Therefore, da -da -da, screen protector. I would have enjoyed a Zelda one. They don't happen to have one. So, that's what we have. Bummer. For that's, that's what okay. we have for now. But that's okay. We wanted to protect it today, no matter what happened, because we know yeah. that we're going we're gonna to use it. That's the haul, people. We had a good night.
Yes, we did. Oh, forgot to mention that we have two pre-orders pending that we can also do an unboxing when those come in. First is Skylander Swap Force. Yes. I pre-ordered the special Dark Edition with the five extra characters and the special Light Core Hex unreleased. That it's a different mold that hasn't been released uh, for Giants. On uh, we ordered it from GameStop a while back. Yep. So we will be getting that. And tonight, which came with a bonus as well, that. That kind of stinks, We too. don't personally need, but because all 3DS downloadable games are system-specific, yeah. and our daughter does not have it, and it's a very good game... We'll give it to her. We'll give it to her. Um, I purchased the pre-order for uh, Legend of Zelda Link Between Worlds. Yes. And if you pre-order it, you get a bonus code to download... Uh, Arco Seasons off of the uh, the, uh, the eShop. We both, which we both already have. We both already have on uh, the 3DS every iteration of Zelda downloaded um, from, so the, from the shop, from the eShop. Our daughter will like that. She will. She will. She'll definitely like that. She likes those kind of games. and She's, she's also looking forward to um, there's some Wii U games out there that she wants that I plan on purchasing for her in the future, and that would be the you know, Super Mario um, Wii U, mm -hmm. and then the Super Luigi U, yep. and she also wants Pikmin 3. Yep. Those are the so. things that she's most interested in, and I will definitely indulge that. Yep. And if I can, down the pike, I'm trying to see if I can get... You can't do it through GameStop because they're out, but you can go to GameStop.com and see if they're still taking pre-orders on the special edition of Batman Arkham Origins, which comes... Go look it up on Amazon. It comes with a ton of swag. It's the most in-depth uh, special edition I've seen in a while. It comes with a figure, a statuette. Um, I'm not going to give it all away because if, if I do wind up getting it, I'll show you what we what it is. So the only hard decision with that pre-order is which version to buy. Which console do you buy it? You know what's the difference? Is if you get it on the 360, the game... I think this is the difference. Let me think now. The game comes as a regular game. If you get it on the PS3, it comes in a steel book. I think the game comes in a tin. There was also an additional difference. They both come with a movie. One of them came on DVD, one of them came on Blu-ray. Oh, that's right. Do that we want was... it on Blu-ray? Do we want it on DVD? So there's, there's, there's the That's a the hard decision. I mean, we've got all and the if... Batmans on 360. And then, of course, you have achievements trophies. versus trophies. Which are you interested And in? I'm really disappointed there are no achievements on the Wii or on the Wii U. We want to indulge in meaningless numbers and trophies. Actually, that's not entirely true. With the 3DS, they did start a system, and I wouldn't be surprised because of the functionality of the pad itself if there were something like play coins. Yeah. It's not quite the same as achievements. Um, it's not. There's a couple of different things you can do with them. I, for one, play Animal Crossing New Leaf, as does my daughter. And you can actually buy um, special fortune cookies in that game with play coins. And the nice thing about those fortune cookies is that you can populate your house with items from sets that are Nintendo-based. Yeah. And the really cool things about those is you can get Mario items. Um, I have blocks in my room. I have one of those fireball bars. I have a bullet bill. I have... All kinds of things. You can also get Metroid things. I have a full various suit yep. on a mannequin in my house. Um, I have a Triforce that has movement sound. I have a Pikmin garden. Um, so they, they have some neat things in there that you can use that for. And the, it's not just playtime that does it. So sometimes when I go to work, I actually put my... Um, 3DS and sta on standby in my pocket because as I'm walking around the lab working, it's counting my steps and I'm collecting play coins. It's always good to get something for doing nothing yep. or doing whatever you normally do during the day. 
It's akin to the old Pokemon, the, the yep. Heart Gold and Soul Silver that had the pedometer uh, yep. that allowed you to level up your Pokemon and gain experience through walking. Yep. We have one of those, too. Yeah, but if you even want to go back further, it's like the VMUs on the Dreamcast. But that's for another That's another discussion. How could the The little VMUs, VMUs that you could, you could import your character into the VMU from the game, and then you could evolve it. Yeah, but I don't remember how that worked. That's sad. We never had any working ones. Yeah. I've got a bunch of VMUs that don't work. That's the haul, people. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link in the bottom box for both of our channels. Uh, maybe you'll do videos from time to time. Right now you don't have any videos of your own up, but that doesn't matter. We'll put a link to the bottom for both. Well, actually for, for her channel, because if you're here, you already have mine. And um, that's all we've got for now. So if you like what you see, hit the subscribe button, tell your friends, tell your enemies, and we will see you later.